Hi guys, Brian here. In this video, what I thought we could do is have a go at separating the colors. And the reason I want to do that is because by separating the colors a little bit, it creates more depth in the image itself. I do do this on most of my edits, if not all of them. But before I get started, I need to do a few fixes on this picture uh, with exposure, for example. So I'm just going to move the exposure slider up just a little bit. And I'm going to hold the Alt key and sort out the blacks. So I'm going to bring down the blacks. There you go, it's clipping, take up the blacks. And I've done the blacks. Sometimes I like to actually move the blacks quite a way up because I don't like my blacks black, if you know what I mean. So highlights there, I can now move the highlights and try and fix that clipping. Normally, um, it's basically the sky that's throwing this, this picture out. And I can do the whites here as well and try and fix it a little bit, bit more there. And shadows, you know, you can take it either way, but the shadows now, because I moved that up, you know, more to the right there, the shadows are actually quite good. So there we go. And that's fixed a few issues like on the wood here and especially up here, you can see now I can see a little bit more detail, but we can fix all that in the presence section but we're going to not get to that bit just yet here we go we're down to the hsl section this is where the magic's going to happen what i'm going to do um, is i'm going to move all these sliders down to minus 100. you don't have to do this you can just start separating the colors from where they are at the moment but i just find this a lot better and you get a bit more control over the look that you're looking for so now they're all moved down, the image looks black and white, but don't worry. Now at any time you can hold the Alt key and you can click here, Reset. So you can reset all these sliders at the same time, or you can just double click a slider. But rather than go through all of them double clicking, you can just hold Alt and click there and it'll reset this whole thing. So that's quick and easy. Okay, so let's start from the top down. So we've got red. So let's, let's see if we can bring that red out. There we go. You can see it's happening down here on the path. Now the oranges is always a fun colour to play with in pictures. I like to bring the oranges quite up high. So I'm going to move them up. Okay, yellows. And we can just move those yellows. There we go. Greens is a good one in this picture because there's a lot of green. There we go. Aqua. Is there any aqua? I don't think there is. We can leave that blue. Should be some blue there in that sky. There you go. Purples. The histogram is moving a little bit, so there must be some purple in there somewhere. And magenta. There you go. We've just separated all these colours and um, made a little bit more depth. So we can come down to the luminance now and start you know just pop in some of this color maybe pop some of that green orange is always a good thing to pop out there you go pop some of that orange um the blue which is in the sky Ooh, maybe we can break that down a little bit there we go and um that those little bit of red on the path and maybe some of the yellows we can even darken some of those yellows there we go so that's basically it. That's me separating the colors and making it, uh, making it pop a little bit more. And now what we can do, now we've done all that, we can come back up here to presence. And um, if we wanted to, we could boost the global settings here. You know, the global saturation, you know, make it pop all over, bring up the vibrance if we wanted to, we even take it down. So, you, but either way, those separations will hold. So um, if we go over to the dehaze here and hold the Alt key and move that dehaze, if I move it down, see what it does. There we go. That's way up too high. Uh, let's take it there, about there. So, so that was plus 16. So if you want to actually see what I was doing there, you can see it's sort of doing that. So let's try that again. We had it about 16. Clarity, you can do the, um, boost the clarity a little bit or even take the clarity down I quite like doing that a lot of the time and the texture 
you can bring the texture up or you can just move it down which I actually quite like doing so I'm actually moving my, my texture down and that is basically it there's a few other things I can do with this image um, some spotlighting with the masks I could fix the sky um, but that's not for this video I just wanted to show you how to separate the colors really um, it, it's not like a full full edit otherwise we'd be here all day tweaking you can spend hours on these things can't you um, but basically here in the um, HSL it's really good idea to you know to get in there and separate those colors and create a bit more depth if I press the um, the backstroke our, our key you can see the before and the after before after and that's because I had more control over the image we can go into color correction um, but that's not for this video anyway I hope you enjoyed that remember to press the like and subscribe button uh, that's always good for you keeps you updated and good for my channel <laughs> uh, yeah talk again soon take care